Hi Semper, today I'm going to show you how to have this look here. I've been playing a lot with the bleach lately, so again this is with bleach and chalk pastel. So let's get started. First, what we're going to need is our uh, Clorox, our bleach, and I'm going to use, I'm just using a regular plate, but use the paper towel that it's all white. No design to it because sometimes you're going to get the color from those designs. Just put a little bit of paper uh, of bleach. It don't have to be much, just enough to, uh, so you can stamp with it. Don't worry about your stamp. It won't damage it as long as you rinse them good. That's it. So here it is. And then I'm going to stamp. And um, like I said before, when you work with bleach, uh, sometimes it's going to change different color it depends on the temperature and the humidity so you can say oh I did that it don't look like yours well it's hard to have the same look twice to be honest because you never know the temperature of the room or the the temperature and the humidity get a big effect too Okay, this is the this if I would be by a sink I would rinse that right away. I am not by the sink. Soon I'm done with the video I will take care of that. So that's what you want to do. You want whoops you want to uh, really rinse your stamp very good. Now you see this. It it would look good just the way it is, but I want to add some color. I'm gonna use a cotton ball for this. I'm gonna use some green and just rub. See it absorbed completely with the bleach there that it took the color and it's on early express so I'm doing this. Then I'm going to use some yellow even if it's quite a bit of yellow there I'm going to use more. Then I'm going to use some orange I'm going to use some red so I'm using pretty much fall color and just rub it. That's it. It's nothing else to this but use some, uh, a, not a sponge but a cotton ball and add your color. Don't you think this looks lovely? I'm going to add a little bit more green. Here we go. And then I'm going to take a towel and just rub it. Okay, that should be good enough. I'm going to move this. I got my rag here that I came with in the back of my chair now. Just wipe this. So then it just stay where you add the bleach. I think you can see good on the... It's very, very lovely. It looked a little bit when I did the Joseph coat, but you don't have the ink or anything. Then I'm going to put that on Cajun Craze. And I prepare, I stamp um, the other leaves. I stamp it all olive on all olive. I'm going to take my uh, all olive uh, satin ribbon should measure a little bit here. There we go. And I'm just going to do a knot here. That's a quick and simple card. And in the bottom here I use my uh, scallop punch to add a little ruffle in the bottom. I could have kept a little bit more of the ribbon there. We're going to make it work though. Here we go. I'm going to snip this a little bit sideways to get rid of that. I could burn the edge too if I don't want it to uh, go uh, all those right there. I could um, use um, the lighter and burn it and that stop it. And I'm going to put this here. And then if I want I can put a greeting like I did the other one. Here I get this one. I add uh, the nasal nut or the nuts there on the side, put my greeting. This one I use the taffeta ribbon in the early espresso. So 
is that pretty or what I think those leaves look when you look at them they look so real that is it just a little bit of bleach and pastel and you get a beautiful card till next time happy stamping